on this story here. No. The story has not always been this story here. This status and class, this pecking order, this us and them, this ladder climb up and above and beyond, this never looking back except to look down upon. No, there is a learning here. This empire story begets empire. Force feeds fear to innocence, molds minds for malice. We come to know this story deep down in our bones, come to ask for our ranking and worship at the feet of, and which one of us is the greatest? Which one of us will sit at your right hand? Clamor to compete, to ascend, to arrive, confuse service for insignificance. For what else is there? A lot of people ask me what the secret to my success is. Top 40 under 40 by age 27, emerging as a viable Starbucks competitor. I get it. People want to know how I do what I do. I usually say something about brand alignment or clarifying the vision, blah, blah, blah. And all those things are true. But I also believe in being good to your frontline workers. They're the bread and butter of the organization, the essential cogs. The wheels don't spin without them. If your baristas aren't happy, then your customers won't be happy. And let's face it, if your customers aren't happy, you're not going to be happy. That's what I always say. There is a learning here. The status and class, this pecking order. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I started on the front line too. I didn't go to business school, well, not until much later. No, I'm pretty much self-made. I slung my share of lattes, swept floors, wiped countertops, taken out garbage after garbage after garbage. I have to say, it felt pretty good to hang out my apron for the last time. This ladder climb. This up and above and beyond, there is a learning here. I wouldn't go as far as to say I'm an inspiration to my staff, but I like to think of myself as an example. Whenever I'm checking in on one of my locations and I see a couple of new kids in training, you know what I do? I wait till they're on their break, sit them down, buy them a coffee, and I tell them my story. They need to know that if they work hard enough, if they want it bad enough, they don't have to keep slinging lattes and mopping floors forever. I tell them, you can hang up your apron too. Leave the service work behind, start working the ladder. You make shift manager, you've got a decent shot at managing a store. And then there's regional management, you can get a job at corporate. And if you're really good, I'll let you buy a franchise. Sure, it's long hours and late nights, but who can beat the benefits? And let's face it, it's kind of nice having someone else pouring you the coffee. You know what I mean? He bends to wash the feet. Who bends to wash the feet? Rough hands. Weathered smile. More fully king and fully servant than we have known. And how are we to understand and what are we to do but protest? But accept. but weep tears of sorrow, but weep tears of joy, an outpoured longing, a rally cry.